from Barcelona and um, I got here last night at around half 12 in the evening so I'm a little bit tired. Um, so this week's vlog, sorry I'm just going to try and do my makeup whilst I also talk to you. This week's vlog is going to um, follow my time here in Barcelona. I'm here for the full week because I'm filming a YouTube project with Mango. It's a three part series that's going to sit on their YouTube channel and I'm kind of acting as um, presenter, I guess, kind of presenter slash stylist. Um, it's called the, I don't know what the final title of it just is just yet because it's not coming out for another couple of months, I don't think. March time maybe, that's when the full series will be out. I think it's going to be called like the capsule wardrobe lessons or something along those lines. But it's a three part series where I talk about trench coats, shirts and jeans, how I style them and how to care for them basically. Um, and I'm extremely nervous about this because I've never done anything this kind of big before. It's quite a big production thing. It's There's a real big difference between sat vlogging on your own to a small camera in your bedroom and doing a full scale production on location for five days where I have to learn a script and do styling. Um, so it feels like a massive leap, especially the script part. That's been a real... Um, not a challenge, well, a challenge, yeah, I would say it's been a challenge, but a good challenge. For 2022, I did want to try out some projects that um, would challenge me, and I definitely think uh, something like this is kind of pushing me out of my comfort zone. I've never been that confident with public speaking, and I'm certainly not, not that confident at speaking to the camera in a sort of um, more professional environment maybe or more sort of like a formal presenting environment so this is definitely very very different for me it's not me just babbling to my vlog camera um so i'm going to take you along with me this week um today is the fitting so in about 15 minutes i'm going to get picked up and i'm going to go to mango's head office i believe where i'm going to try on so basically i've put together a load of looks for each video and all of these looks need to be tried on to check that they fit properly, that they look good and um, any adjustments need making. So it's going to be a full day of just sorting out the looks and then I think that is all. Oh and then I'm going to print off my script, like just go through my script, print that off and kind of have an evening just going through it all kind of not memorising it all because I'm certainly not going to memorise the entire script. That is not within my skills remit at all, but just kind of making sure I know the, the key points. Um, I'm staying in a very nice hotel called Casa Bonet, which I will show you maybe at some point later in the vlog when I've got a little bit more time. Um, I came here for dinner last time I was in Barcelona. Um, and was very intrigued. I was like, oh, this look, does look very nice, the, the kind of glimpses I saw. Um, so I'm feeling incredibly lucky, incredibly lucky to stay here because it's absolutely beautiful. Seven hours later, I am back in my hotel room. Um, that was a lot of looks. I tried on, a, I don't even know how many, so many different looks today. Um, just to make sure that absolutely everything fits correctly and there was a seamstress on hand to help with pinning and adjusting and everything so everything looks great. Um, yeah, a full on day, um, but my nerves are kicking in now because today was really easy. 
the next four days requires me to like really be on it and just like, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying not to get too in my head about it. I'm just gonna act myself and it will all be fine. Um, so this evening, I'm just gonna pop to Muji actually, cause it's right at the end of this road. I say right at the end, literally like, it's probably only about 50 steps down the road. So I'm gonna pop into Muji, see if I can find some tabby socks cause I really want to get some more. I've only got a few pairs at the moment. And last time I came, Barcelona and popped into Moody. They only had men's ones, so hopefully they've restocked the women's sizes. I'll probably pick up some candles as well because it seems impossible to walk into a Muji without leaving with either candles or stationery, and I must not, must not buy any more stationery because when um, I was packing up for the move, I realised I had so many notebooks that I just hadn't used that were just in pristine condition, so I do not need any more stationery. And then tonight is going to be a night of room service, I think. Um, and because the restaurant here is really, really nice. And I, I would go downstairs, but I need to do some work. So I thought maybe I can eat and work at the same time. And I kind of just want to put my pajamas on and just like slob out for the rest of the evening. So I think it's gonna be room service and I'm gonna be sat doing emails and other bits and pieces that I haven't been able to do today. Um, and just try not to let the nerves and the anxiety get to me too much, um, feeling, I can feel it bubbling, but I'm like, no, no, no. The next four days are going to be fine. Going to be just fine. My call time is 6.15 tomorrow morning. So I also want to get an early night so I don't look absolutely shattered tomorrow and so that I feel in good spirits. Um, so I'll be getting my makeup done first thing and then we'll be heading out to the first location, um, which I imagine will be outside somewhere so that we can catch the sort of sun rising so the light's really nice. Um, so I shall see you all then. going to take either a miracle or a very very talented hairdresser and makeup artist to make this look good this morning. I'm very tired, very puffy and I went to bed with wet hair so yeah this needs a lot of work. Okay, shooting the first scene, um, which requires me to walk up and down the street several times pretending to hail a cab, um, which normally is a natural thing, you know, that you do walk up and down the street, but as soon as someone's filming you, it feels like it's impossible to walk naturally. Um, lovely view behind me. free before I start shooting the next bit um, just to sort of check in update you all kind of give some context to some of the clips that you would have just seen so this morning was a lot of outside stuff out and about kind of action shots of me walking crossing the road hailing a cab getting in the cab and just repeatedly filming those types of scenes which was fairly straightforward um, felt like 
that you know it wasn't difficult and then this afternoon has been the talking which surprisingly has gone a lot smoother than I anticipated I, I didn't get too in my head I was quite nervous beforehand and then once I was kind of in the moment I actually managed to keep myself quite calm quite collected it didn't take me too long to kind of memorize my lines um, I managed to get things out in a couple of takes, so it seems to be going quite smoothly and everyone seems quite pleased with my performance and my surprisingly calm and smooth presenting skills. Um, I haven't had anyone sort of tell me to do anything differently or, you know, better or less or more, so I can only take that as a good thing. Um, so yeah, this afternoon is more of that, more talking to the camera and then there'll be some other bits like filler shots where I'm just like reading a book or like walking around the house. By the way, the location house is incredible. I think I've got to go in a minute. Um, the location house is absolutely incredible. It's got this very like Japanese minimal slash Scandinavian vibe. There's lots of timber. It's very light, um, very cleverly used uh, skylight at the very top of the building. Imagine it's like a really long rectangle that just has a kind of there's nothing in the middle of it. Like all the rooms are built round the sides and then the light just comes down the middle and goes into all of the rooms. Um, but I'll try and get some more shots as I go along. I don't know why I'm whispering, I just... Yeah, okay, I think I have to go, so I shall check in soon. Right, I'm up and dressed, ready to go. Um, it's 7.15, I went to bed at 10 o'clock last night. So I got a good solid eight hours. I'm feeling very refreshed this morning. Uh, I definitely needed it. I was so tired at the end of the day yesterday. Um, so yeah, feeling good and ready to tackle day two. away very quickly again today is very like quick 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 um because there's so much like speaking i keep just checking in case people come and get me yeah there's a lot of speaking to be done um and we are a little bit behind so it's just like bam 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 um which has been actually fine i was really quite nervous actually at the beginning because i knew so much of today was going to be like speaking to the camera but i actually feel surprisingly very relaxed and i've just kind of rolled with it and just kind of imagined that I'm vlogging like I'm just talking to my vlog camera and I think it's turned out all right um but yes I think I now have to go and continue for the day no no esto no se le dice usted de Dalian no 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 en la tienda esa Dalian This is the room that I'm getting ready in for location number two. How incredible is this? How amazing is this? <laughs> no, it's all right. And look at the view. Oh my God. That's really nice. I, I stayed here before. I've managed to sneak away again. Sorry, the light's quite bad. Um, so it is day three of filming, day four of the entire production, but yeah, day three of filming. Um, this morning was interesting. I was sat in a park at like eight o'clock this morning when there was still frost on the grass. 
sat on a blanket pretending I was um, enjoying a very warm spring morning. I was absolutely frozen. Um, lots of just kind of like B-roll of me kind of like walking up and down stairs. Uh, what else have I been doing? Walking along the streets of Barcelona, that kind of thing. So it's actually been fairly easy. And then this afternoon I've been speaking again. But now that I'm sort of like on the third day of it, I actually feel really quite relaxed about it all. I don't, like I feel like I know everyone really well now and I don't feel so nervous. And I'm not really thinking too much about the people behind the camera. I'm just totally in my own zone, which is actually really nice. Um, because when I first started this project, I was like, I'm never doing anything like this again because this has pushed me too far out of my comfort zone. But actually I feel incredibly <laughs> comfortable now. Um, Oddly enough, um, I have a microphone on, so the microphone guy probably is listening to this entire conversation that he probably thinks I'm having with myself, maybe. Anyway, um, no doubt I'll probably call to start talking again. Um, but yeah, I just always want to like try and check in and give context to the clips that I've been capturing. Um, also, I have to apologise that they are all on iPhone. I have had an absolute disaster with my vlog camera, which I will, I'll show you actually at some point. It's complete, like, it's beyond repair. Like, I, don't, I can't repair it at the moment while I'm in Barcelona. I, I, if I had time, I'd go to a camera shop and try and get it fixed, but it's nothing I can sort out. So I can only apologise for the, the how much this has been shot on an iPhone because it's all I've got. Um, but I've tried my best to kind of capture shots in good light so it's not too bad, although this is going to be exceptionally grainy footage, but I know it's not that nice to watch a vlog that's 100% iPhone footage, it can often just look a bit horrible. Anyway, um, at this point I hope you're enjoying this vlog and I will check in sometime soon. <laughs> It's the final day. Hey, <laughs> um, it's Friday. This is it. This is the last day of filming. When um, when I got here on Monday, I was doing the fitting. I was like, "Wow, this week is going to be so long. It's going to be so intense." Um, and although the days have been long, it's like been sort of a good. The days have all been sort of like seven till seven most days, but they have. The week has gone surprisingly quickly. I can't quite believe it's Friday already. I've got an absolutely throbbing headache. I feel ever so like, ugh. Basically, last night I sat and watched the last two episodes of Cheer. Um, apologies if you have not watched Cheer or you have no idea what, it, what I'm on about. Don't worry, I'm not gonna give any spoilers away. Um, Cheer is a two season documentary about two cheerleading teams in Texas, um, like college cheerleading teams and the build up to um, the, is it like the national championship, the, the NCA or the, N there's a really big cheerleading um, competition in Daytona, in Florida, and it's all about the build-up to that. In season one, I was very much Team Navarro because of the way the season, because of the way the documentary is um, is filmed and edited. It's very much like makes the viewer root for Navarro College. However, in season two, it's real 50-50. You, you learn a lot more about Trinity Valley Community College. And I have to say, I wasn't really rooting for one team or the other. I was very much like, I really don't mind which team wins at Daytona. There were points where I swayed more towards Navarro. There were points where I was more TVCC. But in those final two episodes, I really was like, I both teams have worked extremely hard. Both teams are incredible. Um, I do not mind who wins 
um, but I was so emotional. <laughs> I cried a lot. In both episodes, I got really, really teary. And I don't know why. I think just like, oh, uh, the, there's just a lot happens in season two. Season two is does have quite a um, quite a sad feeling to it. A lot of horrible stuff happens. Um, so the very last two episodes just feel like this incredible um, amount of like just all of the nerves, all of the pressure. It just all builds up, and I was just bawling my eyes out at so many points during both episodes. Um, so this morning, I am not feeling great, <laughs> but it's the last day. I'm not actually going home today. I'm going home first thing tomorrow morning because there wasn't a flight out late enough this evening. So I've got a flight out at um, 6 a.m. tomorrow. So I've got a taxi picking me up at half four. So I'll actually probably be home. I'll be back in the UK by like seven and then I'll be home by like midday probably. choosing jeans I tend to go for more relaxed fits no when choosing jeans I shape in contrast no that's not right is it really beautiful against the con ah, no come on starting with my favorite fit and wash oh why can't I get this why can't I get this um right come on come on come on we got this Starting with my favourite fit and wash. Nostalgic feel, it reminds me of some of those 90s cuts. It's got a really... They, 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 they. Very structured, wide shoulder blazer that perfectly complements the shape of the denim. <laughs> Did it. Okay. I've now got... Basically, I have to memorise this uh, entire sheet of paper and I'm going to try and do it so that I don't have to look at it at all. <gasps> I can do this, I can do this. Okay, I, I feel like I've got that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Wide leg jeans definitely bring back some memories from my teens. I'm really enjoying this all black look that I'm filming at the moment. I really like this kind of like big boxy cropped black jacket with the boots. Um, the time is quarter past four on Saturday morning. My taxi driver will be here in about five minutes, so I think I should probably sign off the vlog here because this is the end of the week and it is the end of the behind the scenes with Mango. I hope it was enjoyable to watch. I, I wanted to document the process because I've never been involved in a project like this before. I've never been... Um, yeah, I've never been involved in such a, a large scale video project and I didn't really know 
how much actually goes into something like this and how many people are involved and how much preparation is involved. Um, so hopefully it was interesting to watch because I was certainly surprised by a lot of things. Um, and it was a new experience for me. It was quite difficult to document actually because I couldn't really talk that much. Um, and a lot of the days were quite repetitive. So a lot of the footage is just like the same stuff. Me kind of just stood with the whole camera crew just staring at me while I talk about clones. Um, but definitely, definitely a massive learning experience. Um, definitely given me quite a lot of confidence in myself. I definitely feel like I could do something like that again. And I feel very, I feel prepared for it and confident to do it. Um, but yeah, just a little peek behind the scenes. That's uh, the work that goes into these kinds of projects. Right, bag is packed, passport. Let's check I've got my passport. Yes, I've got the passport, I've got the purse, phone is there. Um, I just need to zip up my case and then I am pretty much ready to go. I'm not even gonna to attempt to try and make myself look less tired because as soon as I get on that plane, I am sleeping. Um, I'm not actually sure when this vlog will be up, so it's hard to kind of like end it correctly, but there might not be a vlog for like another week after this vlog because I'm going to Copenhagen on Monday and I'm not going to vlog Copenhagen. Ah, I'll show you my vlog camera actually. So I'm not going to vlog Copenhagen because um, I don't have time to get my vlog camera fixed. Let me show you what it's doing. Okay. It's not even turning on now. Basically, I was like charging it and, and it was like, well, I guess maybe it wasn't fully charged. So I was charging it, then I went to turn it on and the lens came out and went back in and it just continued to do that over and over. Just zzz, 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 zzz. And, the and I couldn't get it to stop. And the only way I can get it to stop doing that is by just taking the battery out. Um, and it, yeah, just kept doing that over and over. Put the battery back in, turn it on. Zzz, 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 zzz. It's just so and I don't want to vlog on my phone because it really clogs my phone up with loads of video footage and it's just not the best quality is it so I might do a reel of Copenhagen maybe so if you follow me on Instagram if you are over on Instagram there might be a Copenhagen reel um because I am there for four days so I've got plenty of time to get some nice footage anyway I hope everyone's doing well and I guess I shall see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching.